And you got to understand when, where a rumor got spilt to understand how a rumor getting cleaned up. You nah, he, I don't think he had nothing to do with, 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 with D, I mean, with Drake getting No. And it's your boy D and I, Mike, and today I'm about to react to the JT the bigger figure and my eyes clearing J Diggs of the rumors he started that J Diggs killed Mac Dre back, don't even have something to do with him being killed. Now, first of all, let me say shout out JT the bigger figure, shout out J Diggs, two pioneers in the Bay Area rap scene. Now, with that being said, come bouncing this time machine with me. Let me take y'all some years back. If you could recall, JT the bigger figure was having problems on the internet with CML Lavish D, uh, J Diggs. Mr. Fab and Zoda Rosta. You know, he was saying like things like back in 2018, Zoda Rosta was having health issues and tried to tap in with him, see if he can get some money to help him out. And he couldn't help him out. So he said he think bro feel some type of way. So fast forward 2019, in his eyes, Zoda Rosta is Lavish D manager now, and he's having business issues with Lav. And he felt like Lav sent Zoda Rosta at him to try to extort him for some money. I do this shit in 2018. When I come back in 2019, Zoe DeRo was trying to ask me for money for his heart condition. 2018, I, I'm like, I ain't pay for your heart surgery. He wanted me to give him three, four thousand for his heart surgery. I'm like, bro, may God be with you. The next year I come back, I come to the bank. He trying to use Lavish D as his way now. Well, I manage Lavish D now, and he said you got him in the movie or some shit. I'm like, Lavish D ain't asked me for a dollar to do the songs or the videos. <laughs> the f we don't get extorted. Extort you. That's what he feel like. So he start, you know, going at him in the, on the internet, right? And then he end up bumping into Zoda Rosta at Mr. Fab establishment, and some things popped off. I said, we'll call him. Call him, tell him let's go ahead and squash this shit because it's getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. All I had all the intentions in the world to uh, squash it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was on another, I was on another page. My health was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, my, I was, I was loving. I was starting to love myself. I have brand new children, so. We met face to face, and he just started talking reckless. Mm. Once again, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to argue with, me, especially grown ass men. I hit him in his chin, mm. real quick, real, real nice one. <laughs> the wall caught him oh, shit. and held him up. You know what I'm saying? And he started going in his compartments. He had hella compartments in his vest looking for his pistol. Mm. He was so discombobulated he couldn't find it. He was absolutely confused. So, mm -hmm. in the midst of him looking for a pistol, of course, I'm trying to get out the way of that. Right. So I backpedal up into the motherfucking shop. When I see he not running up in there. And I didn't come there to shoot him. I came there to squash it for Mr. Fab because that's who asked me to come back Mr. Fab, but he knew I was coming back to a setup. That's why he tried to give me my flowers the other day. I don't want no flowers or no apology. It's on for life. And I'm finna expose you. And when he tapped in with Fab. Your brother came into my shop coming to support as he always has done. But he had cameras in his hand and he was saying, I can't go where in Oakland? And I asked him, good brother, why you mixing the energy? Because you poking at people that you know as my family members and people that be at this shop. And I know that you're directly antagonizing those individuals by tagging them saying, this is where I'm at and this is where you be. So I said, brother, why you mixing the energies? If it's possible, can I get y'all on the phone so y'all can talk about y'all differences? He agreed, Lil bro, on your behalf, I talk to that man. I hit him and say, can I give him your number? He said, yes. Give them the number. They have a phone conversation. They talk. They have a phone conversation. 
Five hours later, he pulls back up to the shop. Didn't call me. Didn't say, Lil Bron, pulling up, make sure everything cool. After talking to this individual, they have they talk. Whatever happened, the energies didn't go well. Somebody running the shop. Bro, they scuffling outside. I run out directly to this man. Bro, this was not my intentions. If I'm guilty of anything, it's bringing brothers together. But you know, Jay Diggs point of view of where he felt like the issues came from, he broke it down like this. You know, one day JT was trying to do some business with him. He wasn't available to answer the phone call. He probably somewhere on his way to Hawaii in a plane, no service, getting a massage, uh, getting to some money. You know how it be. He was basically in my neighborhood um, one day and he was trying to get a hold of me to come give me the cosign on getting some footage. This was not long after Messi had did the bullshit. Yeah. Uh, the day he was trying to get a hold of me, I was literally on a plane. Didn't even know it. The next day I was flying into the crest because I was finna shoot a video about mess. So I shoot this video about mess. Um, and I'm, I'm on the site, literally where I'm finna shoot at. Somebody hit me like, hey, bro, JT trying to get a hold to you. So I tap right in with him like, JT, what's up with it? He's like, oh, yeah, I was in Vallejo, blah, blah. Said, well, come up to the Crest Park, bro. I'm shooting this video. You feel me? I'm going to keep it 100, though. It's about mess. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he come up. He come up. He came up, jumped in the video, did all the shit. Everything was all good that day. Then that night, he goes on live. And he really mad at Lavish D about something on live. That's a whole nother story. But um, during the interview, while he mad, somebody, one of his cameramen mentioned my name. Um, it was about some syrup he had. So when he mentioned my name, he just, oh, Jay Diggs, man. Jay Diggs, man. I was trying to call Jay Diggs for a whole day. Oh, ignore my call. How you going to ignore a boss? And blah, blah, just went in. On. Yeah, JT wasn't feeling that in his eyes. So what'd he do? he get on the internet. Man, F Jay Diggs. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now that's Jay Diggs' point of view. And you know the domino effect and everything's come it come after that. But we gonna get into where JT the bigger figure say the problems came from. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like in my eyes, this where the rumors came from, bro. Publicized. You know, the bigger the voice. We don't know about no little whispers. We don't hear that. We hear when a public figure get on the internet and he voice something. And you know, after so much time go by, bro. People forget where rumors come from, bro. So in order for a rumor to get killed, you got to understand where a rumor came from. You get what I'm saying? And um, we going to watch this video, and I'm going to break down to y'all why I feel like in my eyes, JT, the bigger figure, just cleared Jay Diggs of the rumor he started that Jay Diggs killed Mac Dre. Come on. I'm going to break it down to y'all. We going to watch it together. Have you ever heard of a back door on the back door? Hold on. Let me pause this. I got one thing I got to tell y'all about JT, the bigger figure, bro. He's he's very intelligent. He's good at wording stuff, bro, and putting it next to stuff to to lead the mind and think things like he's saying one thing, but then he might be saying this, and then by then you confused and you just running with a narrative. So just just pay attention. I'm gonna break it down to y'all. Have you ever heard of that? Let me tell you what a back door to a back door is. And when I finish putting these pieces of the puzzle together, you're going to say, feed. That's why you and Jay Diggs fell out. That's why Jay Diggs called me to Vallejo Crestside to be in a video. The next two days, I got to Crestside and they told me what happened. They're like, feed. Most of us can't say nothing, but we're going to tell you because you don't give a. Now, I want y'all to remember what he said. When he got to the Crestside, this is where he say he got his Jews from. He got to the Crestside, they and we. They, they, meaning multiple people told him, I know right? you love Dre, and Dre loved it too. That's why I fell out with J.D. One day I'm in this video, Chris with all the Two days later, like, boy, told me what's happening with you. A back door on a back door is where you hire a nigga, kill somebody, and then you kill him. Now, remember what he just said. He just got done talking about Diggs. And right after he get done talking about this, he like, a back door, meaning, for y'all that, that don't know, meaning he trying to say that J. Diggs killed Mac Dre and then had the person killed that killed Mac Dre. You get what I'm saying? But you got to listen to how he be worried and stuff, bro. He just got done talking about this, then he get on to say this. That's a back door on a back door. Well, did Kilo Kerr do it? I didn't say that. Well, did J. Diggs do it? Nope, I didn't say that neither. Now, you see how he's saying, I didn't say Diggs did it, but he just got done talking about him. Then he go to saying, I ain't saying he did it. So he confusing you right there. You get what I'm saying? 
this this how rumors get started, bro. Just to break it down, because people take stuff, receive it a certain way, and get to saying it. So right after he just saying, I ain't say he did it. Look what he say now. Was they complicit in the situation? Think they was complicit. What does complicit mean, JT? That means that you aware of it, you are part of it, but you didn't do it. So, so basically, he just said what. He was a he used one of them T.I. words, first of all, to throw y'all off. Then he said well, that he Jay Diz was aware of it. He was a part of it, but he didn't do it. So first of all, because it's some of some of y'all out there be saying he killed Mac. He already saying that he ain't the person that killed Mac Dre. So stop saying that. But he's trying to say that he was aware of it, he was a part of it, but he didn't do it. So meaning he got him killed, then got the dude killed that did it, right? Was they okay with it? Yes, they was okay with it. They brought a back door on a back door. Clean up on a clean up. Whoever just typed that, you hit it right on the head. So how did the man that got fired from Mac Dre end up running Mac Dre Company? I did he go straight into the business. You feel me? Like what? To me, his energy changed. He's trying to talk about the business now. You get what I'm saying? So that's back then. Remind y'all, this is where the rumor came from, bro. So you know, rumors get twisted, turned. A few years go by. Other voices get a hold of it. People start pushing the narrative, you feel me? So now what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to pay attention to 2023. And now we gonna pay attention to what he said then and what he's saying now. Why do you think that Jay Diggs killed Mac Dre? Mac, no, 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 we gonna clear that up. Okay. Jay Diggs didn't kill Mac Dre. Let's okay. be very clear, Mac. See, this is the person that started the rumor. And what he say? Jay Diggs didn't kill Mac Dre. So y'all can stop that right there by itself. I can almost say for certain. But the benefit of Mac Dre passing at a time when Mac Dre wasn't cool with Jay Diggs, when Mac Dre was starting his own fizz movement on his own, it was some disputes that was going on. Now, I can't say him and Jay Diggs had a specific dispute. But whatever pressure that that with whatever his team was pressure he they was putting on him, he wanted to have his own thing. So I can't say who killed who. I never. I'm sure you've watched the YouTube videos where they break it down and it's supposed to say who killed who. In, uh, yeah, never do that. I have heard who did it, and I have heard that they're gone allegedly. Right now, I've heard that. You think the version that's out there publicly is basically correct though? You know what? It's, it's multiple versions. Right. It's multiple versions. When I said what I said about Jay Diggs and Mac Dre, I say, bro, you a real snake because if you really love Mac Dre, why you didn't take care of his daughter? Why you ain't bring bus bread with his mama, even though she owned his masters? But what about all them albums you put out using Mac Dre face and name? The these now, as you can see, he talking about the business again. That don't got nothing to do with the the rumor. The rumor is. Jay Diggs killed Mac Dre and had something to do. All this is business, and that's a whole nother subject. We ain't here for that. Listen, you know, promoting this artist, this artist, that artist with Mac Dre faith. Mac Dre presents. Mac Dre presents. Oh, I'm the president of this entertainment, but you wasn't the president when Mac Dre was alive. So that was something that when I went to the crest side, and 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 the people seen me doing something with Jay Diggs. His people the one called me and start saying, man, why you with Diggs, bro? Why you with Diggs, bro? Like up here in the crest, like everybody can't talk about it, but boy, Diggs ain't right. Man, Diggs snaked uh, uh, Dre out, but it, they didn't say killed him. It's the fact of you take a man legacy and you use a man. They didn't say he killed him. And then he started talking about the business again. Ben, like I said, the business don't got nothing to do. That's whatever business is business. You feel me? But they didn't say he killed him. That's not what he said at first, bro. You get what I'm saying? He said at first, them people from the crest grabbed his shoulder, and that's the people that dropped them jewels in his ear that Mac Dre was backdoored by Diggs. Have you ever heard of a backdoor on a backdoor? Jay Diggs called me the Vallejo crest side to be in a video. The next two days, I got to crest side, and they told me what happened. They're like, Fig, most of us can't say nothing, but we're going to tell you, because you don't give a and I know you love Dre, and Dre loved it too, nigga. That's why I fell out with Jay Diggs. One day I'm in this video, I'm in the crest with all the niggas. Two days later, nigga, I'm like, boy, nigga, told me nigga, what's happening with you, nigga. 
A back door on a back door is where you hire a to kill somebody and then you kill him. That's a back door on a back door. Was they complicit in the situation? Mother right, they was complicit. What does complicit mean, JT? That means that you aware of it, you are part of it, but you didn't do it. Was they okay with it? Yes, they was okay with it. Called a back door on a back door. Clean up on the cleanup. When the rumor got started, it was received to the public differently. You get what I'm saying? Back door on the back door. They was trying to say, these killed in the crest. These killed Dre had something to do. This what you were saying back when. You get what I'm saying? So fast forward 2023, it's a whole different story. And you got to understand where, where a rumor got spilt to understand how a rumor getting cleaned up. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to watch this other little video just to back up what I'm telling you. You get what I'm saying? Listen, listen. How is you best friends in Kansas City, a place where your best friend died, but this your, this your spot? Nah, he. I don't think he had nothing to do with, 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 D, I mean, with Drake getting killed. No. Was they complicit in the situation? Mother right, they was complicit. What does complicit mean, JT? That means that you aware of it. You are part of it. But he's like, let me get the benefit of it, though. Yeah. Let me you don't get agree the with the stuff. Seems like you know, problem really with the business, bro. But he put his hand to his ear, and I don't think he, what that could mean, that, we could take that as tapped in on him, had him, boss man had him killed, whatever. I don't think he had nothing to do. So now 2023, you saying you don't think he had nothing to do with it. I don't think he had nothing to do with 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 D. I mean, with Drake getting killed. No, a back door on a back door is where you hire and kill somebody and then you kill him. That means that you aware of it, you are part of it. That's cool, but you, I, like I said, you feel me? Y'all got to understand where rumor come from to understand how rumor is getting cleaned up, and that's where the rumor came from. And now, 2023, J T, the bigger figure, is saying he don't think that he had nothing to do with. I don't think he had nothing to do with 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 D. I mean, with Drake getting killed. No, you feel what I'm saying. And I just feel like, bro, the same way that y'all put light on the rumor when it get spilt, y'all need to when it get cleaned up, y'all need to say, oh, that same, oh, and all that same light y'all put put on that, put on that too. You get what I'm saying? Because, bro, I could put myself in a in a nigga's shoes, bro. Mac Dre, he been dead since 2004, bro. November 1st. That's almost 20 years ago, bro. And JD still keeping his legacy lit. Rocking him on a chain. Always bringing up his name. Bro, that's 20 years. Some of y'all got homies that passed away two, three years ago. Y'all only celebrate them on their birthday or their death date. You get what I'm saying? He been keeping this man lit. So we see the genuine love he got for him, bro. You get what I'm saying? And for you to be over here showing that much love and then over here, you got these people bashing you, talking about you did this and did that to the person you love that much, bro. I could put myself in somebody's shoe and understand how that, I don't care if you got bulletproof skin or not, bro. All it takes is enough people to believe something on the internet to make a rumor be true. Rumors get twisted and turned and bend, and so much years go by, people forget where they come from. God, you taking a shit? Middle of my video, bro. Like I, like I was saying, bro, people forget where they come from. You get what I'm saying? And bigger voices and people on bigger platforms they get a hold to this information and they get to speaking on the situation and that narrative gets spent again and that's what happened with whack look it's whack 100 online now mind you this is this morning or yesterday on the internet this is what whack 100 said out his mouth who the hell is jd that's the for no. me I, get, I don't know this that's the half back drake yo no, but it's what? I know this nigga. And I'm just... on. So what? That's how you get out now, huh? You trying to send an innocent man to prison? Okay. So you, like I said, you feel me? You got all these years going by, and now he got a hold to this rumor, and now he's spending it 2023. But 2023, the same person that started that rumor just cleared that rumor. And I just wanted to bring light to that because, you know, a lot of people might not see it like that because they can't jump in a time machine, go back and peep game where it came from. So, you know, I just wanted to bring light to that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out JT. Shout out JDs, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thing. Uh, Yeah, man. Might show.
Uh, uh.